Hi everyone and welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. I'd like to thank everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to this channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, it is for entertainment purposes only, so if the story doesn't fit, please don't make it yours. I don't know what it is, fire signs. Every time I sit down to do a reading for fire sign, everything can go wrong, you know, and um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm not meant to tell you these things, okay? All right, fire sign, let us begin again, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you that I am going to use my intuition on these cards. I won't be reading all the meanings to it, um, but because there's so many storylines here, reading for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I only take what's, what's yours, okay? All right, fire signs, we are entering a new cycle, okay? Um, this cycle is going to bring a lot of changes in your life. It's going to help you to make decisions that uh, you weren't able to make before. Um, it's going to make you see things for clearly what they are. Word of warning, fire signs, that um, um, it, there, there's going to be things that are going to make you angry. So please um, be careful what you say and try and be gentle in your situations. All right. But what I do see for you, um, fire signs, especially the fixed sign that Leo and, and Cancer, um, that Leo... Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, sorry. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I know Leo is a fixed sign, so especially for you, Leo, um, just be careful what comes out of your mouth, okay? There is situations that is going to make you angry and just try and be gentle, okay? Think before you speak. All right? The next sign you have is rebirth, okay? So you do have changes that is coming into your life you have new beginnings and endings to some situation i feel that you will um, um be going on a on a journey um but i do feel that um, a lot of you are taking this journey on your own now some of you might be partnered up and for some of you your partner is coming along on this journey but for most of you i think you want to go alone <clears throat> you want to go it alone. I think you um, you need this change in your life. You are going through a transformation and uh, you want changes in, in your life and you, and the burdens of, of other people are, are holding you back, okay? So for some of you fire sign, you know, you want to take this adventure. You're looking to expand your circle of friendships. You, you're looking to maybe move to a, a new place and, and start something new and make new friends and, and create this new life for yourself. I think if you could do it sooner rather than later, then um, you, you would do that, okay? Um, I feel that, you know, you, you just want to get there quickly, you know, look at, look at this... This horse that's flying above the clowns, the clouds. <laughs> uh, maybe clowns have something to do with it, but you're flying above the the um, the clouds here, okay? And you you've got no one riding you. There's no one riding with you. So um, maybe you're taking this journey on your own, okay? Maybe you feel that it's something that you have to do on your own. Now, um, for some of you fire signs, you. You are going and tapping into your intuition, okay? Um, I think you, you're starting to um, really feel that there's something missing within your heart. There is, um, there is something that's been bothering you for a long period of time and you haven't been using your intuition on it, okay? But I think now that with the expansion and with this new adventure that you want to take, and it could be expansion within your work. It could be um, trying out new new areas in your life. Um, something that you can see that will take you forward into the future. 
and um, you're going to go with your intuition on this now some of you fire signs that are um, are in relationships at the moment okay um, I think you've been very patient in this relationship that you're in okay um, there is a sense of anger within you okay um, and I feel this anger is because um, you don't feel like you're in control of this situation Okay, normally a fire sign is a leader in, in, in the situations that they're in. And I don't feel that you're the leader in this situation. I feel that you've given up a lot of your power to your partner. Okay. And even though your partner has come is coming across as a very supportive person, okay, if this is your partner here, then your partner lacks a lot of passion in this situation, okay? So um, I think you felt that this is the partner that you are going to be with for the rest of your life, all right? Um, but I feel like that there is like a, a karmic relationship going on here and, it, and it's something that uh, this relationship is here to teach you a lesson, all right? And uh, I don't know whether you've learned the lesson yet or not. I don't feel you have, okay, because you wouldn't be wanting um, to, you know, the only way I can explain it to you um, is that um, this this person in the, in the partnership with you, in this card, this person hold the reins and is holding your head and um, is not allowing you to, to see some things okay for what they really are they just want you to focus on them don't focus on anyone else or anybody else and even in this card your partner is got their head above yours your partner is looking ahead they can clearly see what is coming but they're not allowing you to see because your head is facing downwards okay now um I don't know if you felt that this person was spiritually guided your way or maybe you had a past life connection with this person um, but you do have unfinished business with this person okay now um, I think you're angry because you put yourself in a situation where you are now stuck okay this is the anger inside you that you are now stuck okay and you need to make a decision in this relationship. Okay. I think you're going to be very, try and be patient. And you're going to try and see what direction this partnership goes in. All right. And I do see you very, being very patient in this situation. All right. Because I think you're in two minds. You're in two minds. You, you want to stay, but you want to go. Okay. And um, I just feel that this person might be holding you back um, because maybe you have to rely on this person. Maybe together there's a financial commitment because I don't see any love in this situation here. I do see that your partner, yes, loves you and they want you to only have eyes for them and not to be involved with other people. All right. So they're, they're hanging on to you for life. All right. But this kind of makes you angry because it's not enough for you. This is not enough. Okay. Maybe, yes, you have the happy home or the illusion of the happy home together. All right. But I know that you seek friendship. I know that you seek passion. Okay. And you're not getting it because this these cards are both red. And these cards are both in a very, you know cold color okay so i think you're dealing with somebody who's more logical than um, emotional all right and this is difficult for you because you work with your heart i know you do you are a logical thinker but when it comes to uh, a, a relationship between you and, and like male female female male or if you're into anything else um, you like to be you know you like this relationship to 
to have the passion that you require and you're not receiving this the passion in this relationship okay so i don't know what you're receiving that's making you patient to stay in this relationship but i think too that maybe uh, you're being patient because you know that it's going to be um, a burden or hard to leave this relationship so you kind of have hope that it will other things will make you happy and you won't have to worry about the passion hmm guess what you're, you're bloody wrong <laughs> okay because i feel that you are seeking freedom okay i feel that you do have a friendship with somebody that is very passionate so maybe you've got somebody on the side that is fulfilling those needs for you okay and you seem to have the freedom to come and go between the two people here okay oh, now hmm. I feel this person that you're dealing with also um, likes their freedom you know that maybe this is suiting them for now because they're not really interested in having a, a commitment um, but i think they do enjoy their time with you i think when you're with this person that the sun everything is beautiful everything is beautiful that keeps coming up everything is beautiful maybe you should look up that song look up the words to that song everything is beautiful in its own way yeah so anyway i think this person also likes their freedom um they don't want to be tied down to anybody they they're just enjoying the ride right now okay but i do feel that this person um does have a lot of passion for you um and that you have a very light-hearted um friendship with this person and um I think it saddens you um, and it mm, I think it does sadden you that you know that being so hard and so difficult to be to walk out of this relationship that you're gonna have to maybe walk away from this person okay but I'm gonna say to you that nothing is in concrete all right I do feel, feel for you and this person, there is great abundance between you. Um, I feel that the abundance, because the horse is facing towards this person here that gives you the freedom, okay? Um, if it was over here, the way that it fell out, I would say your abundance is with your partner, uh, but I don't think it is. There, there is. There is some sort of comfort there but there's no abundance there okay it's not it's not uh you're gonna have to work and you're gonna have to work hard okay where there's a little bit more freedom in the relationship with this this one here but anyway that is a choice you're gonna have to make okay um i do see that you just if you did leave this relationship that you would just want to be single for a little while you want to make new friends. You want to release this anger. You have hope that everything will work out for you. Okay. But I do feel that you are being very patient and waiting to see uh, which direction this is going to go. Okay. See, this is part of your anger. Is you're waiting to see what direction this is going to go. Okay. That is part of your anger. Because this person is living their life like they're not going anywhere. You know, even though there, you may have discussions about these things, I do feel there's going to be lots of delays. Lots of delays. And I feel that if you can spread your wings, you would just go tomorrow, wouldn't you? But anyway, um... For some of you fire signs, okay, you do have a leadership position um, in a job that does give you expansion, in a job that does give you travel, and you have traveled a lot in this job that you do, that um, you have gone to places where you think that you would like to move there, you would like to live there, and you would like to have a new beginning 
in this in this place okay so i think you're gonna go with your intuition and um and just just go with it really because you want to begin this this new cycle here or rebirth and transformation uh, a lot of you are bored in, in what you're doing now yeah but i do feel that there was a person there is a person there that did not take an opportunity with this person here all right and i think this person knows now that this door this door is is actually shut it's shut and it can't be open again because the anger that you took out on this person for no reason at all i i can't even see the reason here it's not like this person restricted you because there's a card of freedom all right it's not like this person didn't give you passion it's not like this person didn't give you friendship okay but you had other people interfering in this okay and and at that moment you probably thought that you were this uh, man or woman of the world that can have whatever they want and money talks because i feel that this person had money yeah and money talks and money can give me whatever i want i'll tell you what it gave you it gave you the coldest person you can ever connect to that's what it gave you and now you have lots of regrets you have lots of regrets that you didn't allow this opportunity that you weren't patient enough okay to wait for this person to deal with whatever they're waiting for and to have their freedom okay so whatever you did you can't cry over spilt milk okay but i feel that you're going to have to make one more attempt with this person to communicate with them okay you do feel the loss of this person they are constantly on your mind you know and um if you're angry you're angry at yourself now because of the way you treated this person so um yeah you might have an opportunity with this new cycle to come back into this person's life but this person has found their freedom okay and they're moving and they're moving forward and they are happy okay and they live their life freely okay and they choose freedom and they claim their own independence where you wanted this person to rely on you you wanted this person to rely on you but i'll be honest with you you know i think this person knew you and knew you very well and it's not like they came into your life to tie you down uh they came into your life because they still had love for you and they wanted to rebuild the friendship again but i'm sorry if i assign whoever this is for uh the door is shut on this okay um yeah this person has abundance coming your way i think you put this person down in the past they weren't good enough for you back then but you've been spying on them you've been watching them you've been you know um watching the direction that they're going are they single are they with somebody okay well whatever they are they're not interested in you anymore i'm really sorry but um you know for the ones that are couple i think you have you're trying to have hope in this situation um even though that you may not be a hundred percent happy i think you show the world that you are um, because you know maybe for some of you this is your um, second third fourth fifth marriage or whatever and you just can't keep on doing this so you're gonna do your best to try and make it work even though that your feelings may not be so strong anymore I feel like maybe you have feelings for somebody else and um, you don't have the freedom to be able to tell this person exactly how you feel but i think you're hoping that the universe will step in but in saying that you're going to take a leap of faith with this partner um it's going to be slow i think you will reach your destination eventually um 
and I think it will expand your 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 business, your intuition, um, move to a new place and um, start new friendships and create new cycles for yourself and everything. And and I think you just live in hope that it's all going to work out. But you know that this relationship lacks a lot of passion, okay? Are you able to cope with that? Because I feel if you can't, then you will seek others, no matter where you live, whether you whether you decide to move with this person, whether you decide to stay with this person, no matter where you are. Um, yeah. I do feel, fire signs, that a lot of you are just very angry with yourselves. Okay. It's not just being angry with yourself. There are there are people around you that um, that are just not listening. And you know, don't do your heading. Don't do your heading. Okay, it's it, it's actually not worth it to try and control this situation. Let them make their mistakes. Okay. The only person you should be worrying about right now is you, because I feel that you have a lot to release. Not only. A lot of passion to release but um you know there's a there's a lot of anger so be gentle because you know this cycle too is gonna as i said in the beginning you need to be careful with the words that come out of your mouth the fire signs look for those of you that are still single and, and expanding and and moving forward well good on you because you have a beautiful new beginning for those of you that are in a relationship, you too have a, a, a new beginning, but unfortunately um, between you and your partner, there is a lack of, of passion, which is going to create problems because no matter where you go, no matter, you know, if you decide to pack up and move to the other side of the world, you know, with this person that you will always seek others to fill in to fill in this okay but there is a person in your life that you know that can give you freedom that will give you a beautiful friendship without carrying too much burden and has a lot of passion um, between you and I don't know whether there's um, anything else between you but it doesn't really matter because I think at the end of the day there is abundance between you all right and there is freedom there is freedom. So I don't feel if you came together with this person, I think it'll be a very committed, trusting relationship. I don't feel that it's going to be a marriage. Oh, well, I can't look that far down the future for you. But I don't have a marriage card here. I have a marriage card here. The one that lacks the, the passion. Okay. So you have decisions to make fire signs and um, what I want to tell you is go with your gut, okay? Go with your gut. Stop living in this cave that you put yourself in and um, find your happiness. Find your happiness and go with that. Okay, fire signs, uh, wish you all the best and um, good luck in your new venture and We'll talk again. See you next time. Bye for now.